All new at 10, the opioid epidemic in our country poses a new threat to our officers on the streets and their four-legged partners. Canine officers are trained to sniff out drugs so potent the animals can be killed. Denver 7's Jackie Crea found a nonprofit that is doing something about it. Still in, huh? They're trained to go after the bad guys. We select these dogs based on their, their hunt drive and their curiosity. Let's go find some dope. In the streets, <laughs> Officer Loss relies on his partner, <laughs> two-year-old Rudy, Here. to sniff out narcotics. We'll find it. That bond and trust isn't just on the oh, clock. Boy. They're family, they're like our children, and I'm their parent. I need to make sure they're taken care of. Now more than ever, the opioid epidemic has brought more potent and powerful drugs to the streets. Drugs like fentanyl and car fentanyl, an elephant tranquilizer that can both be inhaled. But across the nation, there have been several dogs that have died from the exposure. Oh, uh, he's a good looking kid. Nice. So Dr. Pratt with Wheat Ridge Animal Hospital and Officer Loss are working on a plan to train all canine handlers to know the signs. Sleepiness all the way to almost a comatose type of state where they're not responsive to any vocal commands. And use the tools like Narcan, a drug that reverses an overdose, and an Ambu bag to help the canine breathe. I know, you got them. Anything to help save their partner's lives. My whole mentality is to make sure it's safe for the dog to go to work and then we do that. The nonprofit Colorado Police Canine Association will be training their officers here later this month. And by the way, when these dogs retire, it's up to the handlers to care for them. So if you want to help out or if you want any more information, check out my story online at the Denver In the studio, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Thank you.